Hi guys, welcome to Digital Tech Join. In this video, we are going to go through top 30 services of AWS Amazon for AWS Certified Solution Architect Professional. The aim of this video is that today in AWS Amazon Web Service, there are around 200 plus services available. For anyone to get started with Amazon Web Service, it Initially, seems like a daunting task when so much of services, so much of articles, so much of videos are floated around and one gets confused and sometimes does not know how to and where to go about. So, in my channel, there are a lot of videos that I've created related to Amazon Web Service. So, for Amazon Certified Solution Architect Professional, that is the certification provided by AWS and which is a top level certificate, I thought I will collate certain services that are mostly used in AWS and I will go through each topic and summarize about the service in a very short two or three line sentence so that once we go through all 30 services, we know we need to focus on these top 30 services initially when we are starting for pursuing the certification of Amazon Solution Architect Professional. So let's get started. So the first service is Amazon EC2 Elastic Compute. So what is EC2? So basically Amazon Elastic Compute Service provides resizable compute capacity and cloud. In a layman language it provides for server instance on cloud for various OS that includes Windows, Linux, Ubuntu, Amazon Linux and Mac OS, Red Hat and many other OS. The virtual server create on AWS EC2 is known as instance. It is as good as setting up a server on your on-prem. Similarly, if you want to set up a server on cloud, then you need to invoke Amazon EC2 instance service. Now this EC2 instance service as different instance type depending upon the requirement. It has general purpose, it has computed optimized, memory optimized, storage optimized and plus it has various costs involved and various types of costs involved for having an instance on the cloud. It can be an on-demand, it can be a spot instance, reserved, dedicated host and dedicated instance. Generally on-demand instance is what majority of the users and customers use it. When you go for dedicated host and dedicated instance, you get a huge discount because you are setting up your server on the cloud for at least one to three years for which Amazon gives you good discount. So this is it about EC2 instance. Then we have Amazon EC2 auto scaling. As the name suggests, whenever you have your server instance ready on the cloud and you want to make sure that your cloud server does not fail if there is an increase in the capacity and to manage the requirement steadily and predictable performance you use Amazon EC2 auto scaling. Now when you use auto scaling you are telling Amazon that whenever there is a peak instance created in your server it automatically creates another instance and makes sure the performance does not Amper. Then we have Amazon EBS that is Elastic Block Storage. Amazon EBS is a network storage that is attached with your EC2 instance. In the in the first slide we spoke about EC2 instance. Now when your server is ready you also need space. So when you want a network storage space then you need to go for Elastic Block Store. store. And Whenever you associate your EBS with your instance, by default, it is not terminated. So, and if you wish to terminate that elastic storage attached with your instance, then you need to enable that option so that whenever your server is shut down or whenever server is terminated, automatically the associated network storage that is elastic block store is also deactivated. Similar to EC2 instance, EBS also has various flavor depending upon your requirement. It has SSD general purpose, SSD provision IOPS, HHD 
throughput optimized and HSD cold for less frequently accessed data. Then we have elastic load balancing ELB. Elastic load balancing are a four type classic load balancer which is a very old service provided by AWS is not recommended to use it. We have application load balancing, network load balancer and the gateway load balancer. Now this basically does the distribution of incoming application traffic across multiple target like EC2 instance, IP address and container. Using the service you may sure your application resource does not get overutilized, leading to non-functional of your application especially during peak load time. Then we have Amazon VPC that is Amazon Virtual Private Cloud enables to launch AWS resource in a virtual network that you have defined. It's very similar to having your own data center however this added benefits of cloud like scalability and many other cloud feature. Then we have Amazon S3, one of the most famous service uh, used uh, in AWS. Amazon S3 is simple storage service, provides object storage built to store and retrieve any amount of data from anywhere on the internet. Amazon S3 is also as various storage types depending upon your storage requirement. Those are S3 standard, durable, immediately available, frequently accessed. S3 integration tiring automatically moves data to the most cost effective trial. S3 standard IA, then S S3 one zone IA, stored on, in only one availability zone. S3 Glacier stores archive data and S3 Glacier deep archive stores archive data and very less frequently accessed data so that the cost is also less in this case. Then we have AWS Direct Connect. Now what does AWS Direct Connect do? It is a network service that enable you to connect to customers on prem environment to AWS and transfer data through private connection. What are the advantage? You reduce cost when you are using large volume of data, increase reliability, increase bandwidth, decrease latency. Amazon CloudWatch. As the name suggests, Amazon CloudWatch is monitoring service for AWS cloud resources and application you run on AWS. CloudWatch is used to collect track metrics, collect and monitor log files and set alarms. CloudWatch is accessible accessed via API, command line interface, AWS SDK and AWS management console. Then we have Amazon CloudTrail. This service Records and shows all the activity done in your account. The log generated in your account is stored in AWS bucket. CloudTrail features and service can extend to log events for data event management like non-API event in your account. It's like an audit trail. Then we have Amazon Inspector. Amazon Inspector is automated security assessment service that help you improve the security and compliance of your application deployed on AWS. It produces a detailed list of security findings prioritized by level of security. AWS Trusted Advisor Trusted Advisor is an online resource that helps you reduce cost, increase performance, improve security by optimizing your AWS environment. Trusted Advisor scans your AWS infra and compares to AWS best practices in five categories. Cost optimization, performance, security, Fault Tolerance Service Limit AWS Guard Duty Acts as a shield and continuously monitors for malicious activity, delivers details finding and remediation. AWS WAP and Shield helps you protect AWS resource from web exploits and DOS attack. WAP stands for Web Application Firewall. AWS Organization AWS organization help you centrally manage and govern your environment as you grow and scale your AWS resource. Using a multi-account environment is recommended best practices when scaling your cloud environment. Basically, AWS organization provides many features for managing multi-accounts. So whenever there is a scenario where we need to manage your multiple AWS accounts, 
under one umbrella, then AWS organization is a service. AWS Elastic Beanstalk. Now, whenever you want your application to be quickly deployed on AWS using a built-in wizard, then simply you need to zip all your source code and upload it in Elastic Beanstalk, which will deploy your code and also set up your application on the cloud. AWS Lambda lets you run code as a function without provisioning or managing server. It is serverless. That is, your application still runs on server, but all the server management is done by AWS. It is pay as you use service. AWS Global Accelerator. This service improves availability and performance of your application with local and global users. Amazon API Gateway. Now, API Gateway is fully managed service that makes it easy for developer to publish, maintain, monitor, and secure their API at any scale. Amazon Route 53. Highly available and scalable domain name system where you can define your domain name, do domain forwarding request, and also do L check of your resource. Amazon e EFS. Amazon Elastic File System is a fully managed service for hosting network file system in cloud. Then we have Amazon RDS. RDS is a relational database service that is used to configure, launch, and manage RDMS database on AWS. Amazon has following AWS RDS database supported on cloud platform. That is Amazon Aurora, MySQL. MS SQL Server, MariaDB, Oracle, PostgreSQL. Amazon DynamoDB. Amazon DynamoDB is fully managed, no SQL database service that provides fast and predictable performance with scalability. Amazon DB, sorry, DynamoDB is schemaless, that is, no fixed column defined, and it's non relationship key value type of database. It is Serverless service, no need to worry or provision the underlying server or EC2 instance. Amazon Aurora. Amazon Aurora is relationship database service that combines the speed and availability of high commercial database with simplicity and cost effectiveness of open source database. Aurora is AWS property database. It is fully managed service with high performance and low price. AWS IAM. IAM stands for Identity Access Management Service. It is used to manage your users, groups, access policies, roles, user credentials, user password, multi-factor authentication, API keys for programmatically access. Amazon Cognito. Amazon Cognito lets you add user sign-up, sign-in, access control to your web and mobile app quickly. You can also use Facebook Amazon and Google authentication using Amazon Cognito service. Amazon Elastic Catch. Elastic Catch. Amazon provides in-memory caching can be used for significantly improving latency throughput for many read heavy application. Two most popular data stores provided are Redis and Memcached. AWS Config. AWS Config is fully managed service that provides you with AWS resource, inventory, configuration in inventory, configuration change, notification to enable security and governance. AWS KMS. KMS is key management store managed service that enable you to easily encrypt your data. Amazon KMS provides highly available key store management and auditing solution for you to encrypt your data within your own application and control the encryption of stored data across AWS service. AWS Certificate Manager creates, stores, and renews SSL TLS X509 certificates. AWS Cloud HSM AWS Cloud HSM is service else you meet corporate, contractual, and regulatory compliance requirement for data security by using dedicated hardware security model instance within the AWS Cloud. Apart from all these services, we also have Cost Explorer cost management services, billing services, machine learning services, and many other AI-based services available in AWS. 
but the idea was to just to brief and walk through top 30 services of aws it was just the name and one line of description i'm sure uh, there is more information to it but the idea was to just brief you and walk you through the most used top 30 services of aws thank you for watching this video please do subscribe like and share my channel with your friends colleagues and family and help us to grow our channel Thank you.